What up, buddies? Now for something completely different. Buddy fight content. What the fuck is that? An actual good game as opposed to what we normally do here. You right! So, I'm gonna be talking about my Magic World Osmodi deck. So, Flag is Magic World because you need that to play Magic World cards, apparently. And the buddy is Art of Body Duplication Osmodi. Uh, I'll get more into him later, but he's the buddy because he's the main card that I play into this deck, so he's smart to make the buddy. So, um, running two copies of the Inverse Second Anomaly Demon Lord um, Revert Death Osmodi. It's a good size 3 because it has good stats, it's a nice wall, 3 crit penetrates always nice, and when it's destroyed you can you mill the top three and call um, any monsters you want. So it helps you fill up your field and there's a lot of stuff with like on place abilities and since it calls without their cost, you can just gain a lot of plus if you mill the right cards after you go into um, Second Omni Demon Osmodi. So, good card to have. I am also running two copies of Dance Osmodi, size 2, 6, 2, 1. Uh, pay one gauge to call and on call draw one. It's a nice simple plus. Um, it's good. It helps you dig into your deck, which um, you kind of need. But it's a solid card. Good stats. Good first turn call. Running four copies of uh, Fervent Demon Lord Teacher uh, Osmodi because um, it's a great card. It's call cost two gauge. Bounce a seventy two pillar monster on call. Destroy a monster on your opponent's field. And if you have three other 72 pillars, you can destroy another card. So it's destroy two monsters, destroy set spells or items against the right deck. Um, it's two destroys for its cost, two crit. It's good. It's a um, good card. Has a lot of bouncy plays, so it's, it's really good. <laughs> Next we're running four copies of Art of Body Duplication Osmodi. Because it's, um, it's a 2-2-1, two, two, and act... You can retire itself. Counter, so you can do this during the battle phase. You can retire itself to call any Osmode from your drop zone by paying its call cost. So basically, it lets you just do multi-attacks, which in Buddy Fight, being able to do above two, three attacks a turn is always really nice. With plays like from this guy and another card, I can do seven attacks in a turn sometimes. So it's just like, it's a really good card. And it lets me call any Osmode, including Fervent. So I can go for aggro and destructive plays, so... Great card, four of. Next, I am running three copies of Street Racer Eligos as he acts as a pseudo shield. It's a one, Going two, fast. one. Makes, Makes me feel, feel alive. alive. So, what it does is um, when your opponent attacks, you can counter and call it from your hand by paying one life. And when it's destroyed, you can pay one life to add it from your drop turn. So basically, if you're being slammed for like four crit from like Danger World or something, you can use this to knock some of it down and add it to your hand. So it acts as a pseudo shield with... It's a shield on legs, so it's it's good. Um, next, we got three copies of Demon Doctor Boyer, which is one one three on call charge a card, but at the end of your opponent's turn it dies. Gauge is important in this deck, and so it's good to have Boyer... And Boyer is especially good with Fervent Osmodi, because what you can do is you can call Boyer, charge something, uh, Fervent Osmodi, bounce Boyer, call Osmodi, destroy your stuff, then call Boyer again and get your gauge back. So basically, uh, Boyer is a great card, because there's a lot of bouncing in this deck, both for you and your opponent, and it works well with Boyer, because gauge is cool. We're running two copies of uh, Demon World Architect Gamogen. It's call 511, pay one gauge for cost, on call, search for any set card and add it to your hand. This deck kind of, um, this Magic World 72 Pillars has these two really good set spells that just help this deck so much, and that's what you use Gamogen for to help bring them out, because there are some really good spells. Uh, next is two copies of Deceiving Shacks who on call, if you have set two 70, other 72 pillars, you can draw a card once per turn. So, gets you your resources, helps you dig, it's a good card. Um, one copy, let's play Osmodi, on call if you have an Osmodi and drop heal one. Healing's nice, it's a nice one of, cause, and it also you can kind of spam it, so it's, it's good to have. 
And uh, last monster is two copies of Boy Transformation Osmodi on uh, three one one size zero on called discard one bounce a card. Uh, decent stats size zero works with um inverse Osmodi. The bounce it, depending on the situation, bouncing actually works better than uh, destruction in the case of the original Osmodi. So I like Boy a lot more. And yeah. Um, Good card. Also, bo uh, the original Osmodi could only destroy monsters. Boy could also bounce spells and items, so it can come in handy in that way, too. Under the spells, I'm running four copies of Never Say Never. Now, I know in Osmodi decks, people usually run only one copy of it, because um, you can only use it once per turn. But I like to run it at four because no matter what you do, it's giving you two gauge, with, which is that kind of needs, and the more you run, the more chances you'll have of it being in your hand when you have no other cards in your hand, because so, what it does is when you cast it, charge two, and if you have nothing else in your hand, draw two. So I've actually used this card quite a bit, the, the draw two effect, which is really nice to have. And also the deck gauge is enough that it's honestly fine, that like it, it, it doesn't really adversely affect it at all. So I do like to run four copies and never say never. Uh, spells... Four copies of Magical Goodbye, counter, bounce a size two or less to, to the uh, controller's hand. Um, it's a shield, basically. You can bounce your own stuff to reproc abilities. Great card. Uh, the main, probably, spell of the deck. We got four copies of Great Spell, Saturday Night Devil Fever. Um, if you, have si you can only cast if you've got six or more 72 pillars in your drop. It's... Counter, pay two gauge, pay one life. Call 372 pillar, size ones, or, yeah, size ones from drop, and then shuffle your drop back into your deck, excluding the copy that you cast. So, this really helps your aggro plays, because this is kind of like a size one beatdown with all the size ones and zeros. And you got that, you got um, Art of Body Duplication, and with this you can do seven attacks in a turn, so it really, really helps the aggro game. So, I really like it. It's a great card. It helps kill people. It's high noon, fam. It's high noon. Um, we got four copies of Nice One, because not life-restricted draw two spells are apparently good. So, that's that's nifty. Um, then, we're running three copies of Good to Go, which is... It's magic. It's basically Magical Goodbye, except instead of size two or lower, it's one or lower, but you do get to heal. So this is just nice because it works on smaller cards. You could, if you wanted, what you could do is you could call Let's Play, heal one, good to go, bounce, heal one, call Let's Play, heal one. So, you know, healing is a good strategy. This deck can do that, which it can do that a lot easier with these two copies of Emergency Ward Neverland, which is once per turn... During either player's turn, when a card is sent from the field to its controller's hand, you may heal one. That play I told you about with Good to Go, if you have this on the field, you get an additional life. If you have this and you use Magical Goodbye, you can heal, so it, 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 turning it into a Good to Go. Good to Go can heal too. This is a great card. It helps heal shenanigans. Good, good, good card. There, everything at this point is a one of. We've got one copy of Magical Glue, which is... um. Pay one gauge, counter, use one of two effects, either rest a size two uh, monster your opponent controls, or bounce one of their items. This works with a variety of different situations. It's a good card to have, especially at one. It's, it's solid. The other set spell in this deck is Barking Solomon. Pay one gauge to set it. And once during either player's turn, when your opponent's hand size increases, they have to discard a card. So, you know, magical goodbye. I'll bounce it, and then you have to discard something. So basically, with this set spell and the other one, especially this one, but the other one too, it makes your not shields better than any shields. This is why you run Gomagen, because this card is absurd. It's great. We're also running one copy of... Mind of Hardcore, if you have two 72 pillars monsters on the field, charge three. You, want, you can only use Mind of Hardcore once per turn. This is the alternative to Never Say Never. I chose Never Say Never over it because while this does give you the three gauge, they're both only once per turn. And while they're both only once per turn, you, this one requires you to have two 72 pillar monsters on the field. And while that's not hard, 
It's also nice just to have Never Say Never's um, free cost and the potential draw two off of it. And the last card is one copy of Make Some Noise, which is if you have, you may only cast this card if you have three or more or different 72 pillars on the field, pay two gauge, bounce two different cards. So it can, like, it's nice because it can really disrupt a lot of plays. Like if you're playing against Sun Dragon Link Attack and they got two, you can bounce their two monsters. If they have the original Dragon Force where it Link Attacks, it restands, you can't really do anything with it. You can null all Link Attacks. You can harm Danger Knights with it. Um, it's nice. It's a good card. It's I like to run it at one because it is a bit cost heavy, but it has definitely come to help me. Uh, that's as, that's about it for my Osmodi deck profile. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If, please support Buddy Fight. It's a great game. It needs more representation. It needs to keep going. Uh, it's a really fun deck. I recommend it. Um, if you didn't notice, this deck is mostly foiled out because it's really fun. It's cool. Buddy rares are cool. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and see you around. Whee!